effort to suppress our reproduction of science. Sincerely, a concerned citizen. Thank you for writing, concerned. Of course, the question is on one of the basic biological impulses, and all its associated hopes and fears for the future of starts at the end. You'll have to wait your turn like everybody else. this kind of decision for mankind? Will they ever deactivate the suppression field and let us breathe again? Allow me to address the anxiety underlying your concern, rather, rather than try to answer every possible question you might have left unvoiced. First, let us consider the fact that for the first time ever, as a species, immortality is in our reach. This simple fact has far-reaching implications. It requires radical thinking and revision of genetic imperatives. It also requires planning and forethought that run in direct opposition to our neural precept. I find it helpful at times like these to remind myself that our true enemy I'd like to help you, but it's out of the question. This is how it always starts. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. You're a cop. He's one of us. Look at him down there. I told you they'd be coming for us next. Just this once, I hope you're wrong. Watch it, will you? I can't take it anymore. Attention, resident. Miss House detected in your block. Hey, you! Cooperation is your civil protection. Senate, pull, rather, the wall. Attention, residents. This block is contained. Potential civil infection. Get in here, quick! Keep Info. moving, head for the roof! Dr. Freeman, I presume. Attention. You better hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. 
Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. I'm sure you don't remember me, though. Man, a few words, aren't you? Remember him from Black Mesa? The world administrator. Look at my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here. Funny, you showing up on this day in particular. been helping people escape the city on foot. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab, through the old canals. Today, we're finally on the verge of having a better way. <laughs> Here, let me buy you a drink. Oh, and by the way, Lamar, come out of there! Uh-oh, everything all right, Dr. Kleiner? Oh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, or I'd suspect Barney of trapping and... My goodness. Gordon Freeman. It really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loveliness. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is he here? There you are. Man, Gordon, you stirred up the hive. We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry. He's coming with me. Uh, that's right, Barney. This is a red-letter day. We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing to be nervous about. What cat? We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc?